Tech video tutorials. Uh, today I am going to explain about uh, Real SQL uh, function and procedure differences. So, what are the major differences we can found uh, between uh, Real SQL procedures and functions? So, if you look at majorly, if you look at majorly, I have written some uh, differences here. There are other differences, but uh, that is not considerable. This all uh, majorly we are looking at. Uh, majorly we are working uh, when you are uh, talking about Real SQL programming. So, if you look at procedures, so procedures may or may not return a value because procedure we are using for mainly business logic validation or business logic data processing not for returning a value okay but functions if you look at functions here functions should return at least one value so when you are creating a function function will have a return keyword right return keyword okay function will have a return keyword so it it should return some value at Okay, it should return some value. At least one value it should return. That is the concept of function. Okay, and the procedure does not have any return keyword because we are not using like uh, as per the article uh, they are not provided any return keyword because it is not required to return a value when you are going for procedure because a procedure mainly we are using for business data validations or business data logic implementations if we have that. But when you are going for function, function will be using for only for some uh, calculations or uh, implementing some calculations or getting some uh, uh, manipulations data. So that time we will be going for function. That's the reason we will have at least one return key, uh, return value using uh, will creating uh, while creating a function we have uh, to mention return keyword here. Okay. So if you look at examples, uh, have a plenty of examples. We'll look at here. There are, if you look at your syntax, function syntax, we have a written keyword, right? Same thing if you look at here, this is my function. If you look at this is my function. Here I am having a written keyword. So function will at least return some value. Okay. This is, when I am running my function, that is, I am calling my function, it is returning a value. But if you are going for procedure, procedure, is mainly for some data validations or something. So when you are going for procedure, it's not required option because you can go for if you are going for select, you will be getting some output if you are using out parameter. But normally, if you're not using that, it is optional because if you are if you are going for only data validations, it is not required to return a value. Only it is validating the data existing data. Okay, so that is the difference between a procedure and function. If you find that. A, data level okay so here you won't find any uh, return keyword here in procedure and there we have in parameter uh, and out parameter and in out parameter if you look at other differences if you look at here procedure cannot be called in sql query so procedure will be executing will be executing the method is execution uh, or you can say calling the procedure calling or execution will be normal PL SQL block or SQL uh, developer or you can go for uh, SQL plus that is SQL star plus directly we can execute but not in select query not in select query if you look at function function can be called in select query so this is my function okay this is my function getting a max if you look at here here if you, this is my function here employee Update, I am updating some uh, salary in the employee table using a function. So I can execute in select statement. So functions can be called in select statement. Okay. Procedure cannot be. And the procedure cannot be used in expressions. For example, here when I am running this here, you can see here. Okay. If you are looking at this example, I am getting a maximum total number of employees here. I am getting a 14 here. When you going for here, I am doing some expression. So expression means I am adding something or if you are going for any calculations or something. So directly we can call that function inside this select statement and we can do the expression further. But if you have a same logics like okay, 
same logics like if you are in PL SQL block, if you have some variable, my variable, then I am uh, doing some calculation with my function total number of employees, okay, total number of employees plus some variable if you are add, adding that, okay, or if you are doing some calculations. So, like this, we can go for functions, but the procedure can, can't be. So, procedure can't be used in expressions. Okay, that is another difference you can find. And another difference when you're talking about the parameters. So, parameters both will be accepting in out parameters, in out, and in out parameters. But if you are going for procedure, 100% you can use in out and both in out parameters. But if you are going for functions, only in parameters 100% we can utilize, but out parameters and in out parameters there are some limitations. Why? Because when you are using out parameters in your function, you can't call function your select statement. Okay? I am I'm having some example if you look at here. If you see here, I have an out parameter here. So I directly can't call in select statement. So we have to go for using a reference method that is creating some reference variable and executing that. So that is the difference between in parameter and out parameter. Okay. So there are some limitations. Limitations means if you are you can use obviously out parameter but majorly functions normally we will be using select query or expression so you can't use directly in select query if you are using out parameter in functions. That is the limitations and when you are going for DML and a DRL that is selection. So procedure is fully supporting for DML and other operations you can do whatever you have. But function also is supporting but majorly function will be using for DRL that is the selection, query selection and doing your whatever you have a calculation and retain the value. But if you are going for DML, DML if you, are, if you want to use that but rarely we will be using and that also some limitations. If you are using a DML operations, you can't be used in select statement. I have some example here. This is my procedure with um, some DML operations I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm compile this function. You can see here, this is my function. Before updating employee table, I'm getting maximum salary. I'm updating salary for all employees with a particular department number, giving additional 500. After updating, I am getting again maximum salary. So here, if you look at this, I am returning a value. Before updating maximum salary, after updating maximum salary. So if you try to call this function into select query, it will throw error. Why? Because DML can't be used in select statement. Okay? That is called cannot perform a DML operations in inside a query. Because this is your query, right? Inside query can't be used a DML operations. So if you are going for functions without parameter or DML operations, it can't be used in direct query statement. Direct query statement can't be used, but you can go for using PL SQL block. That is a reference method. See here, before updating 12,500, after updating salary 13,000. So I have created reference variable here and directly I am calling this function here for a particular department. I'm updating all salaries. If I run it again, what will happen? Again, it will update the salary. Before updating salary, you can see here 13,000. Then after updating salary, it is 13,500. So obviously, we can do DML operations inside function, but uh, we can't call that function in select statement. So these are the major differences you can find uh, between procedures and functions. Procedures and function, but there is, those are limitations if you are going for out parameter and DML operations, but it is not suggestible for majorly if, if you are going for function uh, for DML operation. Okay, better to go for procedure or package. Okay, again, it is a package. Again, you have a sub programs inside that. So, this is the major differences you can find. So, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, please subscribe my channel to get more videos or more updates from my channel. Thank you very much.